So just another quick video about predefined stems effects and it's based on a question I got on my previous video on this thing because I did a video that was actually inspired by a Zerato coming out with stems because Zerato has four pads uh, that turns on and off stems that you would expect but then it also has four pads that turns on and on effects on stems. So I did a video on that uh, a couple of weeks ago but then I got a question saying well you implemented um, while pressed versions but in Serato, it's, it turns out maybe those are by default toggles. So can we also do that in Virtual DJ? So that's what this video is doing, but it's a combination with the, something new because luckily Virtual DJ also came out with a, with a new version at the same time. Uh, it's called Build, Build 7183. And according to the, uh, the release notes, it has improved pad effect scripts for use with stems. So that's what I've used now because it makes the scripts a whole lot simpler to read and to uh, and to implement. So uh, we'll see that in a second when we go over the scripts. But let's just let's just check out what uh, what they actually do, right? Uh, so I've created this uh, this stems effect patch uh, stems effects uh, pad page, and uh, it has it says A E O H because the old one was called E O for echo out because it turns out. All the uh, yeah, all the effects are really just variations of echo out, but now it has H for hold, meaning toggles. So now these down here are toggles instead. So let's just check out what the what this actually does first. So play a track. So like yeah, you will probably tell. The top four ones are just the simple ones. It's just the turning on and off the stems, really. Uh, so nothing interesting there, really. And then we have a little uh, pre-fader, pre -fader, post fader thing here, so that you can set. So you can set that on the fly also if you want to. That's where the effects pro processing happens, right? And uh, then we have when we have invoke we work with a, a stem type that has bleed uh, setting on it. It also has bleed that you can set up here, if you. So those are exactly the same as the old version. So the new version is the one down here. So let's look at that one. And like I said, it's all about echo out. So if we turn on echo out here, we can see the current settings. And then the interesting thing about it now being implemented with, with, the, uh, with the pad effects action instead is that that changes these when I ask to do it, but it just does it as long as it's invoked. So when you turn it off again, they go back so let me just try turning one of these on and off uh, while there's no uh, music. So they can see they all change. And then when I click it off again, they all go back. So that's a, a great little extra feature with the pad effects action. So let's see what they sound like, and then we can go through them. The first one is about echo out uh, on just vocals, echo out uh, solo vocals, echo out non-vocals, echo out drums. Let's just see what they sound like. The next one. And the next one. And the final one here. So like you could probably tell, the echo of vocals just echoes out the vocals and everything con everything else continues. The echo out solo does the same thing, but it also mutes all the other stems besides the vocals, so it's solo vocals and then echoing out the solo vocals. The echo out non-vocals, echo out everything but the vocals, so just stays the same. And the echo out drums, yes, you guessed it, just echoes out the drums and everything else stays the same. So those are the things, but like you could also see, they're now toggles on and off. So that's all pretty cool. And then they have variations. So if I press shift, you can see that it, and that would be right click uh, uh, with the mouse, but shift on a controller. Uh, shift pad and you can see they have short versions so we can just listen to those also just to see what they sound like 
Next one. And the next one. And the final one in the in the fast version. So basically the same effect, just turned up a little bit more uh, with the feedbacks because they're shorter and then just half the length. So you can see if I click this one on, it's one beat. If I click the shift version on, it's just half a beat. So that's basically the difference and then a little bit about the, the feedback because we need a bit more length when it's shorter. So that's basically what they do, but let's just look at the script so we can figure out why they do that. So the top four ones here are simple. It's just stem pad and then vocal, instruments, bass, and kick and hi-hat. These bottom ones here are a bit more interesting because they now use the pad effects uh, action, like you can see. And that actually just takes, out, takes in the effect that we want to use. And then on the fly, it can take all the settings for it that will keep momentarily by while turned on. So 70%, 70%, 58%, and 40%. That's those four things that dines down here. And then uh, it has these uh, stems effects, colon, and then the stem you wanna, you wanna do this thing on. And that's the stuff that's basically been improved, right? So as you see, compared to the old scripts, which were like three lines long, this is so simple now. So that's the first one. This is the second one. So now you can say it's a solo stem vocal. And a little bit about length. Then there's this one, same thing really, but now it says mellow rhythm. So that's the melody and the rhythm, which is basically means everything except the voice, or the vocals. And then the last one, stems effects, rhythm. So that's just the drums, hi-hat and, and kick, right? So that's basically the script. And then uh, we have the variation sound here with shift. Uh, and that uh, that just sets the, the length here to be shorter, so that will give you the half beats ones. Um, so that's basically it, and uh, I'll put the link to for this whole pad page in the video description, so you can try putting it in the, uh, the patch folder in your virtual DJ, and then you can basically just try triggering this and see if you like it, and see if you can get inspired about, uh, on it. But uh, like you saw, the scripts for it are now so simple that you should definitely go into the scripts and try messing with these four values that you just saw for each one of them. These things, and see what you like, because this was just my ideas, right? Okay.